In this video, we're going to show how easy it is to add widgets through WordPress to your store. Widgets here, for example, come from our demo store, ectwp.com. You can see them here on the right-hand side. There's a product search, a dynamic menu, which takes the links for products and categories from the information added through the store control panel. Featured products, which could be best-selling products or products you just want to recommend. A mini cart, which shows the contents of the cart. It's a summary. Uh, customer login, if you're using this feature on the store, which shows the status and uh, login opportunity. Uh, others we can have would be content regions, where the content is taken from the details entered in your store control panel. There's a newsletter feature. There's also recently added products that can be included. So first of all, I have to say that all the information available is available on our site. It's basically copy and paste. Here we give you the code and the information of how to add that to WordPress. So what we've done is prepared these code in a text file. So for the store search, the mini cart, mini login, etc., And those have all been copied from our help page. And these will appear on the site. So the first thing you want to do is go into your WordPress admin and make sure you have installed the executable PHP widget. The link to this is available on our site. Then go into Appearance, Widgets, and we're adding widgets to the main sidebar. So first of all, what we'll do is add the search bar. So we find the text widget, drag that in there, and then we'll give it a title, search our store. And we copy and paste the code, in this case the form, which makes up the search bar itself. We add that, paste it in, and save. Obviously, you can add your own CSS classes here if you want to jazz it up a bit or add a, an image instead of a submit button, etc., and then save. We'll close that. And then another example, we'll add the mini cart. So what we want this time is PHP code. It's similar to the text field, but it allows uh, us to enter PHP coding. We'll put that below the search. We'll give it a title, so let's call it mini cart. And then from our file, let's copy and paste what we need here, that would be the mini login. This would be for the mini cart. Copy. Paste that in. This also has its own CSS classes, uh, so you can format it to, to make it look like the rest of your site. Save that. Close it. And then we can go through doing the other widgets which are available. Hopefully, in the end, when you're finished, you'll have something looking like this, which, as I say, can be formatted through the CSS file. The featured products, here you can show recommended products or bestsellers. So here, for example, we have the code for recommended products. So we're having one column, two rows. We don't want to show discounts. We don't want a title. We're using recommended. But if we wanted to change that to bestsellers, we can do that quite simply. The CSS prefix is so we can style that, and then we can add that to the widget bar, the same as we did before with PHP code. Add it in. Let's put a title, our best sellers, and then paste in the code. Save, and we're all done.